Hey guys, it's Philip from Rhino Fit Fabrications. So this is the install video of the R4 bumper. The first step is you have to remove the, the lower lip. And the first step to do that is you wanna remove that, this bolt right here and same thing on the other side. So the next step you wanna do is remove these screws right here. There's a five all the way across. And we'll show you what the next step is once you remove these screws right here. Hey guys, so once you remove the uh, five screws on the front, you just want to remove these two right here, and then there's two more on the other side. There's three. Three? Okay. <laughs> hey guys, so once you remove those five screws in the front, you want to come along the fender line here, and right underneath there should be three screws on either side. So you wanna go ahead and remove those. So next step, once you remove those three screws along the fender lines, there's two more right in the middle there where pointed. You wanna remove those first. So the next step is you wanna re remove the screw and then three across. these three across and then, there's one on this side. and then one on that side too. So Curtis is going to go ahead and he'll show you which one. So that one and then three across and then this little guy right here. All right, so next step, once all the screws are removed, you just want to grab this plate and just wiggle it out. So Curtis will show you here. And slide it right out. Beauty. All right, so the next step, once you have this part out, there's a screw right here. And just to give you some reference, this is kind of where we are right now. So we'll slide back in. And it's just right where the washer fluid container is. You want to remove that screw. And then there's these clips here. And they go all along the edge. You want to remove all those. And the best way to do it is grab a flathead screwdriver and then just, just pop it right off. Just push this little tab in and push the whole clip up. Perfect. So we'll show you how to unclip these here. You just want to grab this, push in, and just like that. Okay. Okay, go. See, there's these clips right here. You just got to push them down. And then it should start to wiggle off of there. There's a... So all you got to do is, is clip those ones down. If Curtis, if you want to just point to what you're, you're talking about there. This so, is one that's done and off. Okay. And then this is one that's not done. Just push so it down. Just push it down and then it should slide right out. Yeah, here's another one over here. And there's here. another one right there. Just push down. Beauty. Yeah. All right. So now that we have everything off, it should look like this. So just want to clarify. First step was to remove this bottom skid plate by removing these black screws. The next step was removing this guy here, which had the screws along the sides on these guys. And then this front bumper part was removing these guys. These were in here like this. I'm gonna clip them out so they come out. And then they also had screws along the sides here and even on the very edge of them. Hey guys, so these section of uh, bolts and hardware is to mount up this guy right here. The secondary one is for those arms that stick out. The ones that you replace the aluminum bracket to the steel. This is for your skid plate. And this is for the wings, if you want to install the wings. And this is what the hardware box should look like. For the skid plate install, you want to take these clips. You need a screwdriver to pry them in. Pop them on like that. And then when you put your skid plate up, you'll take 
Terus Oop. Put a lock on there And then a flat Run that through your skid plate And then you'll run it up into these tabs And these tabs you can adjust side to side if you need And then thread right in You want to do the other side too and this one. You'll have to have one there And one here Hey Rhino Fit family, so this is the uh, the winch accessory plate. So if you want to run a winch on your bumper, you'll have to purchase one of these from us. You can either purchase a bare steel or a power coil like this. Um, we have full pricing up on our website. The winch we recommend, or the one that we tested it on, was the Axon, the Warren Axon 45S. Make sure it's the one with the ferro lead. As you can see, it's a very compact design. Now there's also a 55S, uh, in theory it should work because the 55S is only a little bit bigger than the 45S. So we did make this the ability to, to, to mount a little bit bigger of a winch. All right, so once you removed all the plastic cladding, you want to go down. First step. And you want to remove this piece, which was right there so there's going to be a big bolt right there you have to remove a bolt up there and then these two smaller screws right here so i'll show you you gotta remove that big bolt this one right here and these two and then you want to do it on both sides all right so the next step you want to grab that stock aluminum uh, bracket from the vehicle. As you can see, this is what it's going to look like. And you want to remove this thing right here. So the best thing to do is grab a 1 8 drill bit. You'll need a drill uh, gun with this. And you want to take out these rivets. The best way to do it is drill in slowly until these pop out. Now, for whatever reasons, if they don't pop out, that means you need a bigger drill bit. But we used the 1 8 and it worked just fine. So, this is what the drill bit is going to look like. And you want to grab this. You can chuck this. And then this, we're going to bolt onto this. And we'll show you the next step. All right. So, the next step is you want to grab the piece that came off here. And then you want to drill in the holes as shown. You want to make sure you use a drill bit and hammer it down. Hey guys, so this is the video for the uh, winch mounting plate sold separately from the bumper. So when you get the plate, you want to bolt it in into these existing holes on either side with, with the included bolts. Now we recommend the Axon, the Warren Axon 45S, which is, this is what the 45S is. As you can see, there is room for a little bit longer one. Uh, you can fit a 55S. Now, if you do fit a 55S, the only difference is these, these mounting points may not be exact. So you may have to drill out your own holes, which is pretty simple. You just grab a drill bit and away you go. But there's, there's still plenty of room on either side to fit the 55S for sure. You just might have to um, bolt up differently here and then you might have to cut more plastic cladding on your vehicle. All right, so the next step is you wanna grab your wings here. Now, you have two options. You can run it as a shorty without the wings or with the wings. So of course, if you don't want the wings on, then you can skip the spot. But if you want the wings on, pretty straightforward. You grab the existing bolts that we provide, and you thread it through on both sides. You don't want to fully tighten it yet, just so once you put it up, up on the vehicle, you can adjust it up and down 
in order to get that perfect fitment. And then once you find the angle you want, fully tighten it. All right, so the next step is you wanna grab these brackets that were you provided, okay? The big bolt you wanna leave out for now. Do these first two first, and then the one up top. Oh, sorry, the one up top here. And then just, you don't need to fully tighten it, but just get it tight enough. And then we'll show you the next step. All right, so the next step, you will need to do some trimming. If you see these two points right here, you wanna line it up and just cut it off. You don't need to do the, uh, the top one, only the middle one. Now, if you're gonna run a winch, you will need to cut the top one completely off. And this is what the opening is gonna look like. And keep in mind, this opening is gonna be big enough to put your hand in and rotate the spool. Go. All right, so the next step is once you have the bumper ready, uh, in this case, I'm running it as a shorty, so I'm not adding the wings. But these two mounts here, you gonna grab your, oh, you gonna grab your bolt, washer, and nut. This is what it looks like. And then it's gonna slide through right in here. So we'll show you the next step. Hey guys, so for the next step, it's good to have two people for this, okay? And I'll show you where you're gonna be mounting it. So this part will mount to this bracket right here. And you want to slide that bolt right through. So it's good. So it's good for one guy to do one side, and then Buddy to do the other side. And we'll show you the next step. All right. So once you have those two bolts on, this is a good time to to, to step back and see if it's straight. So you want to look back, and if you need to move it left or right, this is a good time to do so. Now, once you find the perfect straightness, bolt. Tighten those two bolts up, and we'll show you the next step. All right, so once you have it straight, you want, this is why you still want two people to work on it. One person is gonna hold it in the up position while the other person tightens. Now this prevents the bumper from going on a downward angle, it'll go on an upward angle, so your approach angle will be a lot better. So make sure to hold it up as much as you can, and then fully tighten those two bolts. All right, so the next step, you wanna grab this guy right here. The big bolt. You wanna line it up here. You wanna thread these two bolts in first with the provided bolts we provided, and then move to the big bolt. So once you tighten these two bolts and the big bolt, this is how it should look. Now, after about driving 100 kilometers, you want to retorque this. Similar to when you remove your wheel lugs, you want to re retorque them. So we'll retorque them once, and they should be good to go.